The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, says that some workers who were trapped in the rubble have been rescued and are receiving medical attention. It was learned that the incident occurred on First Avenue in the exclusive neighborhood of some of Nigerian wealthiest men. Some heads of the affected agency speak. We appeal to good people of Lagos State. We appeal to the developers. We appeal to everyone to abide with the rules and regulations. Nobody, I say loud and clear, is above the law. We are talking about the safety of life and properties in here. As we have all our agencies here, the LAPSCA, physical planning, and all other government agencies doing what they are supposed to do professionally. When, once that is done, we'll be able to ascertain the current status of this and the next steps will be taken. Meanwhile, journalists have been barred from gaining access to the estate where the seven-story building collapsed on Wednesday in Banana Island in Lagos State. Reporters who gathered from various media houses were told to wait outside the estate gates pending the time they will be attended to. Some of the journalists said they were at the gate until very late on Wednesday, while those who visited the estate on Thursday morning said they have been kept outside for hours. Although no cogent reason was given for the development, an estate management representative said journalists and construction workers were denied access because they do not want hoodlums to gain access into the estate to forestall breakdown of law and order. However, the management provided a tent for the waiting journalists. Other emergency responders were allowed free access to the estate except journalists. Thomas Sado, ITV News.